Recently, I've been playing around with some maze puzzles, and I wanted to see if Burr tools could be used to help solve them, or at least see if they could be solved by linear motions rather than rotation types of motions. The first one I played around with was this one by Tyler Hudson. I won't pronounce that. I think it's German for piece of cake, three plates inside. Moves really well. The plans for this were on puzzlewillbeplayed.com. But I think I would have spent a month trying to remove the plates from here without, with the whole mechanism sort of being hidden. So the nice thing about plastic is that uh, you can make it with removable top. So there's three screws here. And one of the things that allows you to do is look at the mechanism underneath. And this is really the only way I sort of understood how the puzzle was really working. Now, rather than be maybe an easy solution, it gave me probably more, more joy being able to sort of understand how it worked. That's not to say you couldn't solve this with enough time. Certainly it would take time. But that was one style of maze puzzle that I was working on and 3D printing allowed me to uh, understand it a bit better. I also came across four puzzles by Dan Fast called Fast Maze. This is Fast Maze Zero which looked pretty intriguing. So I made a plastic copy from some pictures on the internet just to see how easy it would be to solve. These plates rotate really easily. The idea is to remove the pins from the three plates. So you align three holes and you can take the pins out one by one and hopefully solve it. It does take some time. Really interesting puzzle. So I wanted to see if I could solve this just with linear motions and this is where Burr Tools comes in. Now the interesting thing about Fast May Zero is that from different websites you can see different setup positions. So a question is can one of these have different puzzles? This is a different, uh, this is the same plate as this one but you'll see this is flipped compared to this one. Are these both solvable positions? So I wanted to model this in Burr Tools now I did find on YouTube one person who has modeled uh, Fast Maze 1. There are four uh, different puzzles. This is the smallest and easiest of them. This is Fast Maze 1 and this person used Burr tools but used much higher resolution uh, on the cubes and I think the problem was that the pins, uh, the center shaft of the pins is a little uh, off-center for a, a true burr tool. And if I show you this, uh, he set up a frame and I'm not quite sure why the frame was necessary. He thought it was necessary to make sure that the plate stayed in an X and Y position. So you can see that here. But he's got quite a few moving parts. I tried to do it a little simpler. And so what I did was take a plate put it on a grid, see if I could just model it that way. The problem were the pins because the shaft of the pins is sort of off grid here. It's right in the middle. How I modeled the pins was this way. I used four cubes for the top and bottom and I just put the shaft at the top left uh, sort of cube position. So we've got three plates uh, so this is five units uh, in height and when this gets modeled as four squares, this pin should be able to be free because the shaft is just going to be in the upper left and should work through. So let's take a look and see how I modeled this. Here's my Burr Tools file and we look at one of the plates here. This is what one of the plates looks like. I simply modeled it this way with a 9 by 9 by one grid. So the inside from here to here are seven units. We have a top plate, we have a mid plate, 
and we have a bottom plate. Now the problem is in setting up, I set up two puzzles that I found from pictures on the internet. So this was one setup position and this was the other setup position. So we'll see what that looks like. Two different puzzles. If I look at P1, the result is here under S8. If we look at S8, we'll sort of see what this looks like here. So the idea when you set up a result is here are the four pins, the four squares. If we look here, the shaft is going to sit at the upper left in these, or the upper corners. And then what I did for each of the pins was I had the shaft at the upper left. So I'm going to have units in for the top out to the right down in a two by two square. So my result looks like this for the top here. This is one plate. And you'll notice right in through here is going to be the shaft. The shaft is going to be in those positions. One plate, middle plate, top plate, and again, the top of the pins there. So that's a setup of one puzzle. I set up another puzzle from the second picture that I saw on the internet to see if these could be solved. So as we go to the solver, we'll look at P1. We won't disassemble it right now. We'll notice that when you start this, each of these have 24 different solutions. And that's just because these pins can be interchanged here. But can they be disassembled? Well, the P1 has no solutions. Now I think that's this one, and this is a common picture, I think, on cube dissection and a puzzle master. I couldn't find, or Burr Tools couldn't find a linear solution to this. Not that there isn't a solution, but perhaps you need to use rotations. I did set up this puzzle. I was not able to solve it in a timely manner. I haven't tried over days. I then set up the puzzle from pictures from a different website. So we'll look at this solution. And what we did find here is we did find a solution. Uh, and you'll see the level is right here. 23 uh, moves to take the first pin out. And you can go through, I'll warn you right now, I'll just quickly go through this so you may not want to uh, watch an actual solution for Fast Maze Zero. But this can show the actual plates and the pins moving and it's strictly in an XY position. And if I go through this, you can sort of see right here where the first, oops, where the first pin comes out. And you can go through the whole solution here. So this is a great use of Burr Tools to find out if some of these maze puzzles have linear solutions that uh, can be easily obtained or if you might have to use some rotations. 